This episode is brought to you by FIFACoinsBuy.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off your ultimate team coins. And G2A.com for the best cheap games. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another Leeds United Crewman episode. Now, in this episode, we have two games to play, both the remaining games in or yeah, in August. So we've got West Ham, a league game, and we've also got Chelsea in the Capital One Cup, very first game in it. I don't know how that happened, but it has there's some sort of fuck up somehow. We're like like the league we, we finished uh, I don't know. We're both Champions League teams playing each other in the first. I don't know if that's how it works, but if it is, that's just weird. But still, let's continue. We've got a couple of center attacking midfielders that I'm maybe looking at potentially signing because if you look at my starting 11, it's all pretty strong everywhere. And we've got plenty of depth in most positions, if not all positions. But my center attacking midfielder is a area of slight weakness. Not amazing, but not an incredible weakness. But it's like most of my players are around 80 rated and... My center attacking mid, my best one, 75 rated. So maybe if we could sign a quality center attacking mid, if possible, and I'd splash the cash, I would do that. Now, before we continue on with this game against West Ham, because I've said everything that needs to be said, I uh, <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to tell you this or not, but fucking, I'm going to. This is actually not going to be the first time I've played this game, or this match specifically, because I just, maybe, oh, I don't know, probably about an hour or so ago, maybe a bit more, just played this game against West Ham. I won it like 5-1. It was probably the greatest game I've ever played of the series, and I'm not even kidding. I Maybe in the moment, it felt like that, but it's got to be up there. Everything fucking worked. We scored two goals in 10 minutes, four goals in a half, and finished the game 5-1. Zardes' first goal was a long shot, absolute screamer from 30-something yards out, and it was sensational. And then the whole fucking game, we lost the footage. I swear, this, this entire series, if it's even if it's not in-game, is clouded in bullshit and Fuck, just book. I swear, I mean, honestly, even if it isn't even in-game, this entire series is clouded in fucking bullshit, and I am going to go on a fucking shooting spree if I have one more ridiculous piece of shit happen to me, I swear. I'm going to lose my mind. So now this means I've got to play this exact same game all over again. This is the team that I did put out there last time uh, when we beat them 5-1, so hopefully we can do something similar. Really, I can guarantee you right now, we're not going to get... Any game better than the last one, I swear. I'm going to try my hardest, but fuck it. I just want to make sure that we win this game because for us to play the best game ever, win 5-1, and then have to replay it and not even get three points, I would be devastated. So let's just do it and put it fucking beyond us because what's done is done. Let's just go. Ah, oh, so here we are again. It just feels like shit to be back here in this game, in this specific fixture. It's just terrible. But there again is the team. And have a look at Oxlade Chamberlain. His name is so long. That look at how much they have to, like, punch his name up. So West Ham, we meet again. We're the ones kicking off. Let's hope we can recreate uh, the game. A 5-1. It's going to be tough. But Jesus, I, I don't even want to put that sort of pressure on me. I just want to get the win. I don't even care anymore. I, I probably shouldn't even be fucking talking about this anymore. I should probably just... Focus on just playing this game, but Niang with a brilliant turn, shot. Oh my god, nearly. Oh, good intercept. No fucking way. He gets the ball there! Come on! Oh my god, now I'm not paying attention. I'm going to allow him to walk right into the box if I'm not careful. I'm allowed to cross. Come on, no fucking way. Oh my god, we missed it. We are not. No, 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 no. Come on. At this point, we were 2 0 up. Come on. Ryan Gold. Ryan Gold. Oh my god, look at that! Bang! Goal! There we go! Thankfully, we get the lead there. Man, the slide tackle, he just walked over the ball after that. But look, he's a quick player, and the gap was there. He's still able to shoot it and still able to score it. Oh, thank God. We got the first. Oh. Slide tackle. Oh. Oh, he's still going. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Niang. Oh. Turn your man. Do it one more time. One more time! Brilliant! Oh, come on! That, that that looked like it went through the fucking goal. And he's so fucking big. Look at Ryan Gold just, like, bounce off him. And now they get us on the counter-attack. Wow, but a great tackle, but we don't keep the ball. Fuck that. Oh, my God. As a matter of fact, look at this. Blocked again. Come on. No, that's two intercepts. Oh, it's hit the side netting. Got them. That is a pass perfectly to the fucking... I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Look at what it started. That's going to start... Oh, my God. That's This is a, this is a legitimate counter-attack. They're actually going to get something from this. They may just... No, then... They fucking scored from it! I don't believe it! Up we go. I'm gonna go up the guts. There we go. Come on. Slide tackle was a poor one. You have to hit this and... It's right at the fucking keeper again. Ah. Ryan Gold, you've been huge. You deserve 
to win this game. We deserve to win this game. Kiba comes and plucks it like the fucking Leo Barry Cunny is. This game is going to end in a, in, a, in a draw. After we won it 5-1. It's going to end in a draw. It's a 1-1 draw. We won this game 5-1. It's ending in a draw. Unbelievable. Look, though, we see that uh, Ryan Gold got the man of the match, and he was spectacular in the 5-1 game. He scored two goals, got an assist. He was sensational. But I tell you what, yeah, it's it's just not beyond no doubt. He will get the man of the match and the vote for this game because he was very good in the previous game, very good in this game again. He actually scored the only goal as well. So that's it. We're going to put this game behind us. I'm going to say it one more time. Fuck El Gato. You fucked me around again. Now I'm done. Now I'm finished. And now we advance three more days to the game against Chelsea. Let's go. So, if we, I don't know, let's say get relegated and we were a point or two off safety, then uh, blame El Gato. And let's say we come second in the league and we were a point or two off winning the league, then blame El Gato. But now the next game that we're going to be playing against Chelsea, and this is in the Capital One Cup. Jeez, we've already played them once in a cup competition in the Community Shield and we were able to beat them on penalties though. So what's going to happen in this one? Will we be able to get the right result against them again? Surely, come on. I recall I just said surely in in regards to winning against Chelsea. I don't think it's going to be that easy, apparently. But uh, we'll still try it anyway. Come on, let's go. No, no, no! Not again! Not another injury! Please, fuck the fuck off! I'm going to keep playing with Bentaleb until the end of this half and then I'll sub him on or sub him off for Victor Waniyama. But holy shit, guys. Is this really another injury? Is this maybe a goal? Fuck, Courtois is good. Amazing. We seem to have Chelsea on the back foot here. They've got a lot of numbers back. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to... No fucking way! That's another injury and he's gone. Oh, my God. That's it. The one season. The one season where we have fantastic players and now it's getting... It's getting robbed. Any fucking chance of us actually doing some good things in this fucking career mode is being robbed. We have lost our two strikers now. How long have we lost Zardes for? How fucking long? Shit, I took a bad touch. That's okay, though. We've still got it. We've dodged it. We've gotten away with it. There we go. Nice. Baited them. Made the move. Come back in. What are we doing? Come on, you're just standing there. He's, he's tugging the shirt. We go down to the box. Oh, yes. I would like to say that that was part of my plan, but I can't because... He was just tugging the shirt outside of the box. We went into the box and he was still holding in our Sarko. Shit, that's not a great. That's not a good one, actually. No, actually, it's fine. It's in. It's 1 0. We're beating Chelsea and it's penalties again. Oh, shit, here they go. Oh, my God. It's a really good cross. No one's in front. willian has got it. Oh, no. All right, equalizer. I don't really know if we have enough time. I don't think we. No, we fucking hell. I thought we did, surely. We we're in our own half. Come on, boys. All right. Is this extra time because it's Capital One? I'm pretty confident. There we go. Nice. I'm looking at right up the middle. Niang. He can never just get like in behind the defenders, which is what I hate. The finesse. He gets blocked right as he shoots it. Another one. Pass it. Quick. Touch. Shoot. Oh, blocked again. 10 minutes. Stoppage time. They play it. Short. Oh, boy. No. Come on. Not now. Not like this. Seriously, that pass in that situation is fucked. Great save. Well done. I know that Willie Ann's on it. We just got to defend, play it smart, play it as well as we can. Have numbers in the box, there to contest, to get in front all the time. Still got it though, it's just sitting there, it's just sitting there, no fucking way! Oh my, no, 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 that happened, that just happened. How many goals did they, how many goals did we concede off? A save, bounces right back to them and it's in. Two minutes to stop, it's time to go. This cunt's fucking fooling me around right now, this is ridiculous. Nah, we're, nah, we're gone. Alright, that's it. Cool. Back to back seasons. We have now been knocked out of the Capital One Cup in the first game. Look, I thought I was always going to give man of the match to Bakary Sarko, even though he couldn't play in extra time because he was just getting a little bit too tired, obviously. So that's it. Three injuries in this one game. We get knocked out again in extra time. And I lose a 5 1 game. I lose footage of a 5 1 game against West Ham. This whole episode, this entire series, we had a lot of bullshit in the last episode. There's something about this. I just don't. I fucking hate it. I just can't seem to catch a break. I just wonder if there's going to be an episode in this season where, I don't know, let's say I get the fair results, I don't get any bullshit, nothing nothing crap happens, I don't concede any bullshit penalties or anything like that, I don't know, player injured. Yazzie's artist is out for a month. Sweet. So now our only striker, our only fucking striker is now Niang who is not even really a striker. He's a winger who can play at striker. So now, as a result of losing 
fucking Zardes for a month now, who is my backup striker. I now have one striker who isn't even a striker, and that's, of course, Niang. And I also have one more centre forward, and that's bloody um, Adam Armstrong, who's 66 rated. And I really would rather not play him as my main striker, even if he is a centre forward. So, I have got these three players that I am either looking to loan, or apart from one of them, who I could buy maybe on the cheap. Basically, what I'm saying is they're all pretty good in their own way, and I'm pretty happy to get both of them in on a loan, and maybe Angelo Enriquez, if we can get him on the cheap. He's worth 4.9, but he's transfer listed. So I don't know if that means maybe we could try to squeeze, get him for less than four. I don't know. We'll see. But we will take care of all this remaining transfer business in the transfer deadline day. Let's go. I'm going to give this bloke a short loan, half of the season, submit the offer. And the same goes for Day Tomas. And now for Angelo Enriquez, I am going to offer like as little as like 3 million. That's probably pushing it, but 3 million. Maybe we'll get a counter offer of some sort. I'm going to try to get him for less than five, if possible. And I might be enticed to get him. Now we move on with the center attack and midfielders. And there are still three days left until we get their exact stats and, uh, and overall down. But I've got a pretty good idea who I'm really interested for, but I am going to offer contracts for everybody. So Rashid Gazelle is worth 8.5. I'm going to offer, you know what, exactly that, 8.5. Next up is Hakan Shalhanalu, who is oh, just an absolutely fantastic free kick taker and a good passer as well. Uh, he's a good shot. He's got a very good shot on him as well. 11 million, I might offer... I'm just going to go with their value straight away. You never know. We might get lucky with a few of them. I'm going to offer 11 million, obviously, for Bruno. And finally, for Thorgan Hazard, who is probably the is probably the center attacking mid that I want the most, but he will be the most difficult to get because he will more than likely be the most expensive and we probably won't have enough cash for him. Unaccepted, 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 unaccepted. It just sucks. And then transfer offer accept or loan offers accepted for both of the two that we wanted to get. Thorgan Hazard, 87.5 million. That's a fair bit. 18.5 for Bruno. 19 for Hakan and 13. He's obviously the cheapest. Maybe not the one I wanted to get the most, but we will see if we can do some dealings. And they want exactly 4.9 for Enriquez as well. But I tell you what, with both of these two being accepted, I'm going to go for the one that I want the most, and that is this guy. And that is a, uh, you know, I'll learn his name. I'm going to have to because we're going to have to put up with him for one, the first half of the season until the next transfer window. Okay, so they want 27 million, and I've only got like 17 million. All right, so this is what I'll do then. 16? 16.5. Now there's Massimo Bruno. They want 18.5. I offered 11. Let's go a little bit more than just the middle. We'll go with 15 million. That, I think, is fair. Now the next one is Hakan Chalhanalu. Let's see. He wants not, They want 19 million. I might go ahead and offer the same thing. 15 million. Boom. And now this bloke, Rashid Gazal. He is a little bit older. Probably not going to have the highest overall, if we, as we can tell by the value and how much we could get him for. I'm still going to offer, try to get him a little bit cheaper. Let's go with 11, 11.5. Yeah, 11.5. That's all right. Submit that offer. He's not the one that I want the most, but I'll get him if I can't get any of the other players for a decent enough deal. So advance. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got two accepted. Chelsea's is unacceptable. We've got 15 million accepted for Massimo Bruno, who is a bit interesting. We've also got Hakan Chauhanalu, who has actually been bought by another team. Oh, shit. And it looks like it's Roma. It is indeed Roma for 18. All right, well... Chalhanalu, who is the one I probably wanted the most, we can't get now. And they've accepted 11.5 for Gazelle. So we've got two at the moment that we could sign. Massimo Bruno for 15 and Gazelle for 11.5. Oh shit, I just realized something. Okay, I've got 15 million right now and 72 weekly wage. The most expensive guy that I could get is Massimo Bruno, who is worth 15 million. Or we're going to get him for 15 million, but his weekly wage is 80. So I don't actually have enough cash. So what I'm going to have to do is try to request for some more funds. Where is it? There it is. 12? 12? I don't know. 12 million? I know that... Hey, we're in a real good spot now. We can do this. Let's go for 12 million. Come on. And advance. Let's see. Come on. Don't be stingy. Please give me something. I don't know. And we got nothing. Oh, my fucking God. you got to be kidding me. No way. Shit. And I just find out that Massimo Bruno... Oh, crap. All right. Oh, this not... Okay. Well, the decision is getting made pretty easily for us. And Marco Silvestri, no, we're not selling him, so... What can we do? Okay, look, this just never works. It, it it really doesn't, but I'm gonna try this. Giving him a pay decrease to swap teams just never works, but the 20%, the four years, crucial first team. I'm doing everything he can. I'm doing everything I can to actually get him. He is the one that I want the most. We'll submit the offer for him, but I am not confident. I think we're probably gonna have to end up going with this bloke. Let's just advance and hope for a miracle. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm really confident. As a matter of fact, I can call it. It won't happen. He's accepted! Yes! Got it! 
Hutch, the 20%, the crucial first team, and I don't know if it really has much to do with it, but hopefully the Champions League that's got a little bit to do with that decision. Thank God. We have now literally spent everything that we have on this bloke. He should hopefully be fantastic. Around the 80s, 23 ratings. He's got 23 ratings. He's got some very good overround stats for that center attack and midfield spot, and we'll find that out exactly what his stats are right now. So let's confirm it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but... In my time playing career mode, I've really noticed that a lot of these players that supersede their potentials and really sky and really, really go up high can become absolutely fantastic players. I'm hoping that the same is with this kid, Bruno. Let's see how he ends up. Let's hope that he can go into the 80s and keep on growing and we'll see how far he can go. Ah, so that's done. We are putting August behind us and it has been a fucking shit month. I've hated, oh, so much bullshit in all the last five games. And even out, even outside of the game with the losing of the footage, it sucks. But nine games, uh, what am I saying? We've got nine more, ga nine more days until our next game. So before I leave you with this episode, I thought uh, something I don't really do an awful lot of, but I really should get onto it, our squad reports. So let's go. Right after only a few games, but we've already had a couple of players grow, which is awesome. Sylvester isn't one of them, obviously. Uh, Oko, unfortunately, has gone down, which I'm amazed by. Matip's injured, but thankfully he hasn't been hindered. Uh, more his technical attributes going up, which is great. Victor Wanyama's grown by one, despite very small changes there. Oxlade Chamberlain probably just needs to play a few more games. Bakri Sarko by two already, and his stats are just, look at that. The man is amazing. Still going on. Massimo Bruno, he's just got here, but he's already grown by one. Fantastic for his dribbling and his crossing. Domenico Berardi by one as well. He'll be special. Uh, Lacazette's grown by one as well, despite being injured. Hopefully he, that he doesn't go down there. Julian Brandt, two. Nabil Bentaleb. Ricardo Kishner, Niang, obviously nothing much there. Tyus Browning just continues to get better and better. Stevanovic, Dodo, that's awesome. Fars Luli, who, by the way, I only just noticed. Let me just show you something. Can play as a striker, but I don't really feel confident about putting a guy that has 61 finishing up as my sole striker. So that's why I got that other striker, uh, no, no Maz, oh, shit. Maxine Lamanza, he just got here, but he's grown by one plus in every goalkeeping stat that he's got so far. Hopefully that won't take too long. Luis Godin hasn't grown. Uh... I don't know the names of any of my players. He has played a game, but he obviously hasn't grown yet, which is fine. Lewis Cook, he hasn't played a game yet, and look at him. He just continues to grow. He's 20 years of age, 75 rated. Holy shit. Now, this is the bloke that we got. He, he, now, this is the bloke that we got. I like his technical attributes. I like his ball control, dribbling, and the finishing, and the heading accuracy, and the shot power, It's and the curve. Like, everything that you really need to be a decent striker, and he's got it, so he'll be a nice backup. Old Sheik as well, who's gone to 73 now. He's actually gotten a, grown a little bit. I didn't think he had. Adam Armstrong, Moat, who I think I played. Zardes, who's also injured, but still up. Callum McGregor, who I tried to sell, but he uh, obviously no takers there. Ryan Gold, he hasn't grown. Sam Byram, no. Solly March, I don't think it'll take long for him to start growing. He's just... I have barely played Tolly much, and yet he still grows. Jack Grealish, he's just been very disappointing and just has not grown at all. So Bios haven't played. Adrian, nothing there. Graham Shinney, Serge Nabry, 75 there. Giardin Zalalim, these are all lone players. Renee Hawkins, who has grown by... Look at those freaking technical attributes, man. And then there's this guy who's just absolutely terrible, but he has a really high ceiling, a good potential, but he's got to grow by tons in the first season if I'm going to keep him. Seven, he's grown by two already, which is okay. And then there's Zan Benedictic, one to his aggression. Good stuff. He's gotten angrier, and that means he's better. <laughs> I wish that were true, because I get angry all the fucking time, and it doesn't make me better. It just pisses me off. That's all it does. Oh, my God. I need a, I need a break. I, seriously, I need to go on fucking holiday at the end of every single episode just to calm myself down. But that's it. We're going to finish this episode now. Like, fuck. And we've got a game against Southampton in the next one. I really want to do well in the Premier League this year. Uh, we, we've done quite well in the Premier League every season, but I mean really well this season. But that will do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Master Bucks, and have a good one. Bye-bye.